Hey guys, uh, this is uh, part of a uh, contest I'm doing for Best Proxy and VPN.com. They offer uh, something I believe is a very valuable and very useful service, uh, proxies uh, for only $4.97 per month. At least that's what it is for now for one proxy and you can get more as your uh, needs uh, for proxies increase. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I'm going to cover uh, how to set up your proxies uh, using uh, Firefox, Chrome, and also uh, Internet Explorer. So three of the most uh, three of the most popular uh, browsers. I will cover how to use that, um, how how to set up your proxy, HTTP proxy, or socket four and five proxies uh, in those browsers. So first of all, open your uh, Firefox, and let's see here. You go into your file, uh, which is you press the Alt button or you can press um, the Firefox, but I like to press um, and here it's asking me for the proxy. I'll get to that here in a little bit. So there's two ways you can get into the proxy settings. One is by clicking on the Firefox drop down or the other one is press the Alt button on your keyboard. What that does, it brings up the hidden uh, toolbar at the top and you click on tools and then you go into options and then you see this dialog uh, you want there's a lot of uh, little tabs in there you want to make sure you click on the advanced usually it goes into general but you want to click on the advanced and then on once you click advanced there's a few tabs uh, general network update encryption you want to click on network and then it's the first one is connection configure how Firefox connects to the internet you click settings and usually it's ha it has no proxy selected but since we want to have a proxy you click on manual proxy configuration and this is my IP and port uh, sometimes when um, when you order a proxy usually they give you a little call in and then the port number, some random number after the call in. That is your port number. So what you want to do is take that out and take the call in out as well and just leave the IP address in the HTTP proxy and then manually write your port number here in the port dialog text box. And uh, you, there's no need for you to check this uh, for all protocols. Um, but you can also check it. It doesn't hurt. It works both ways. But I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. And if you're choosing to use the SOC, SOC, HO socket, make sure you get the right socket version. There's four and five. Um, and basically copy in the IP address for that as well and the port number. And then click OK, OK and then you can just go into uh, you know whichever uh, website you want to browse let's say I want to go to Facebook and notice it asked me for uh, login information this is where you type in your login credentials uh, sometimes uh, websites give you your login and your proxy and port in one uh, one string, something like you know Tom Zhang, uh, us colon password at IP address, let's say 192.168.0.1, and then colon uh, port 22. So there's uh, a few information that you can dissect from this information. The first one before the colon is your username and then the second string after the colon is your password and uh, the the number uh, before the second colon and after the at sign is your IP address and then the last number is your port number so in this case uh, you since you want to type in your username you just want uh, your username and then type in your password 
And do you notice uh, for this uh, service, uh, for this website, um, uh, best proxy and VPN.com, uh, for some reason it asks you for a MOZ proxy. Um, and for me, I found um, I do not need to enter any information for this part. So I press cancel, and then when the second authentication comes out, it asks you for. Uh, authentication for proxy, you type in uh, your username and your password. Now notice if you type a wrong password, it'll just come back up. And so if I type in the correct login information, it takes me right to it. So, alright, so that's for Mozilla Firefox.